Now back to talking tunes. Welcome back to talking tunes, and we're talking with Ranger Bob, Louie, Sweet Louie, and JoJo Gerard. So here we go. It was in the infancy of fax machines. Uh-huh. We were having people fax us stuff, and somebody faxed me. At- <laughs> <laughs> I just I xeroxed it on their, uh, you know, on their copy machine, and then faxed it to me. <laughs> Suck on this. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's interesting. I'd like to see who it's attached to. <laughs> yeah, you get all the characters, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I remember JJ, you know, when I first started, JJ Dooling saying, Lou, you're going to get a lot of calls from the radio groupies. He says, there's a reason that, you know, on a Friday night, they're calling you instead of being out with their boyfriend. Don't mess with them. I'm telling you, yeah. don't do it. Yeah. yeah. That was that rock. Yeah, and I, I think I. For the most part, I heeded his warning. Yeah, yeah. Rock ninety five. <laughs> rock ninety five. Yes. The summertime. I remember with all the all the girls, little young girls that got out of uh, you know school during that time, and they would call. And yeah. they it's like, man, oh man, stay away from me. You're about exactly. ten. Get away. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Ranger Bob's favorite story is the one where he, that he didn't get to see either was the uh, the one with the uh, bumper stickers placed in certain spots. So. And I never saw it either. I'm, I'm well aware of the story, but I never got to see it either. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a, it, it, yeah. Yeah. Supposedly Jeannie's well, got a photos picture somewhere. Around that. Yeah. 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 There are yeah. somewhere. Jeannie's got them. Jeannie's yeah. got them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Poor Jeannie. Somebody's got to raid her house and try to find all these photos. Yeah. It's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that girl, that girl had a hot little body, man. There was no doubt about that. <laughs> I, I I was telling Oscar the other day. I think we all had a crush on Jeannie. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. But she was a she was a sweetheart. She was just such a doll. You know what I mean? You couldn't help but love her. She's just a great person. Well, yeah, she'd do anything you asked. Uh, you know, when when it came to promotions well, and stuff. And I, was, I don't think she would do anything you'd ask. But no, yeah. no, not in that way. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, she would get things there was, done. There was there was just a lot of great people in that whole building. I, like I think I've said before, it just seemed like everybody uh, was the right person for the right position at that yeah. time. It was just amazing, just amazing. Yeah. yeah, it really was a cool time. And and like I've told yeah. like I've told them before, Louis, I I you were the one that told me to stick around, and I didn't, and I'm I'm still yeah. sorry for it. But anyway, yeah, because then I went well, to the you know, U.S. But you know, I went to your radio. Buddies. Is- Radio is so different now than than it was back in the, you know the mid late eighties. It's completely different now, yeah. and and so you'll never see a time like that. You know that that whatever you want to call it, that magic feeling that was going on at Sunny FM. You'll never have that again. I don't think. No. Now were you, you guys, know? were you guys in radio when they used to call the radio station to find out what time it was? The exact. Time? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because there was there, there's an old radio thing on uh, Facebook that they, you know, all these different old things that they'll they never do again, you know, which is you call can you call a radio station anymore and somebody will actually answer, you know, yeah. Um, and the the thing about the time, I remember that calling up for the time to find the exact time to synchronize my Timex watch. You right, know? Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah, it's just, well, uh, well, yeah, I think the big thing now to address that difference really is it's more corporate and yeah. and. And there's there there's not that I mean there, I can remember people hanging out at the radio station in their free time like they would just yeah. come over and just hang out yeah yeah and and we'd just be goofing off yeah and, and a lot of times good ideas for on air stuff came from that but but those days are gone you don't have that anymore nobody hangs around that I don't want to go to my <laughs> <laughs> you know you know what you. <laughs> You're, you, Jojo, I remember it being in Bellella's office with you, and we were all contributing ideas. You were writing the uh, uh, to the theme of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, the little blue, blue Hugo. Yeah, yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Which, I mean, it's kind of a morbid story, so I won't go into it. But uh, Well, we got complaints for it, but that was... <laughs> <laughs> the little blue, blue Hugo. And I, you know, I live an hour from the bridge now, not even... Right. Now, so, yeah. People don't remember a Yugo blew off the bridge. A gust of wind came and knocked oh, a Yugo right, right off yeah. the bridge yeah. and killed Literally. the person. Yeah. And, you know, if it wasn't for the tragic loss of the human life, it would have been funny. But was Ted Kennedy driving? No. No. Oh. <laughs> no, it was just, yeah. Oh, not that time. Well, yeah. he just swam to shore. Left the bridge, so <laughs> That's, right. That's right. <laughs> 
Oops. <laughs> and it wasn't like we I don't making fun of the person who died it was just the whole idea of you know just taking that song and goofing on it because it was just yeah. a, you know that song needs to be goofed on yeah. <laughs> of course we, we did that with talking yeah. tunes one time too we did a we wrote a song to um the milwaukee clipper because they had just uh-huh. brought it brought it back to muskegon and it was all rusty clipper so we called it the rusty clipper and we yeah. had, a, had a guy do that, and it was a, just a bash on the Milwaukee Clipper, you know, called it a brain fart or something like that. But right, yeah, so you know, you do that stuff, and people look at some people like it, some people just kind of, you know, get a little yeah. offended by it. I remember, but, but, but that that's the biggest difference. Like, you don't have that anymore. People just hang out at an office yeah. and, and just go, yeah. hey, I got this idea, let's let's go with it. Yeah, exactly. And, you don't. Well, and everything just hang out and, and goof and- off. Yeah, I mean, all your shifts are voice tracked anymore, and uh, nobody's there, and you just don't have that that kind of camaraderie or that atmosphere. It just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. No. Well, that was Which that, is too bad. that was always my favorite thing to follow JoJo around with the with the camera to put him on TV forty for LVTV. <laughs> <laughs> JoJo's where? Okay, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> hey JoJo, do you remember doing Pepsi dance tracks? Oh yeah, oh, I, I found some of those pictures the other day. I had a video of our the time we were on that. I had a I video had one too, and, and I, I I brought them to work here in Grand Rapids because I was going to convert them to digital and and uh, and put them on on YouTube, yeah, so that everybody could could share them. Uh, but we we were in the process of moving from one building to the other, and they got lost. Yeah. Can't find them, and it pisses me off, man. I'm, you know, I had I had a, a VHS of it too, and I'm I may still have it somewhere down in the basement. Now, is that is that Rod, Roger Scudder from Fruitport Schools? Or they put that together as far as the video part of it? I know DJs on the was it, like the DJ. It was the TV station who did it. I think. Yeah, it or was, was the, it? okay. Not seventeen. Oh, okay. yeah. Some yeah. It was big. It was yeah, big. some listener just taped the VHS off the TV and said, "Ah, oh, okay, all right." So that was the the big stuff. Yeah, because there was another one they did too for with the Fruitport School did, but I don't. It probably wasn't the same thing. I know we had JoJo. I remember we had JoJo for one of our teen dances we put together for DJs on the Run. And he came in there, and the the girls all went crazy. Oh, JoJo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were way too young though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like uh, an American bandstand, I think they did it at the Rock, didn't they? In Grand Rapids, top of the Rock, yeah, top of the Rock. Yep, yeah. yep, that was it. Huh? Top of the Rock. There were some, there were some good things that we could, we did back then, though. Everybody did. That was fun, fun stuff. We could get away. Yeah, with that it, show too. was fun to do. It was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I got some, I got some pictures that Jeannie sent too. Though. Like I say, DJs on the Run was was playing the music. Cause I saw oh, their system, but I don't, and there's a bunch of kids dancing. I don't know if that had to do with the same thing or not. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know either. Anyway. Yeah. Well, we used to do, um, I don't know if this was DJ on the run or not, but we used to do like a, a summer beach dance on the parking lot on the Pier Marquette. Yeah. And I would host those. That was when Bobby's on the beach was there. Yeah. 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 They would just take a parking lot and they would have like a team night. And we would sponsor it and show up, and then they'd have a DJ that would play, you know, the music that we played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of there's a lot of cocaine at that place. I remember that. <laughs> that got shut what, down Bobby's? too. Yeah, Bobby's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big time cocaine there. Yeah. Uh, I stumbled out of that bar a lot late oh, at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I, I remember playing the uh, the basement. They had a basement there, and I played DJ there quite a few times. So yeah, it was it was quite the place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, did any of you guys ever do a remote like at? Uh, I'm just curious at uh, Murphy's or the Odyssey or anything like that, or no? Murphy's? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> now that had been a great remote. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me get this girl's boob out of my drink before I can <laughs> talk. You guys. I don't know, if Ranger Bob, if you were with us, but for Haas, when he was PD for his birthday, Billy Cooper and those guys took him out to Murphy's, which was a, a you know a, a strip bar that had cigar night for God's sake, <laughs> and and Haas was gay, and <laughs> Billy was paying these women to come over and and put their breasts oh. in his face and stuff, and he would just get repulsed. All of a sudden, he. <laughs> 
He ran outside and got sick out by the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't sure if it was because of drinking or it was because he didn't want breast in his face. Well, I, think yeah. I, I think I told you guys a story before when uh, Bob Bolton took me there for my birthday one time and the one girl put her crotch in my face and the next morning I woke up and found out that there was no lenses in my glasses anymore. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I poked myself in the eye when I went to put my glasses on. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't get sick. That place, that place was rough, man. Yeah. That was rough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Do we got anything else we need to talk about? <laughs> now that we hit the bottom. Uh, <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, ho, ho, ho. As they would say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. too yeah. funny too yeah. funny so hey, hey louie we gotta you know when this covid thing if it ever does die down or if, yeah. you know i still live through it whatever uh we got to get you <laughs> get you here too so we can do a, a video with you i'd love to do that for the legends yeah. thing so yeah, that'd be that'd be a blast i'd love to do that yeah yeah but i thought it'd be kind of fun to get these two guys you know in this in this whole thing too because well, you know, if it was just you and me, there'd be too many awkward pauses. Yeah, and, and, yeah, you know, you know, and I, you know, have to let go of myself once in a while, and yeah, right, to think of something. But uh, yeah, so I appreciate you guys doing this again, and uh, no, no, no worries. Problem. Yeah, okay. yeah, then, thanks for asking. And then Ranger Bob does going to tomorrow. We're going to get together, and he's going to play Santa. Yes. Okay. Oh, man, it's going to be spectacular. <laughs> What's this all about? Since it's gonna, we're gonna put it together in December. I thought it'd be kind of nice to have a COVID Santa call, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all the things that you, know, you when well, you sent me a, the, you sent me a whole list. I mean, that's yeah. Thing. All the things that Santa, you know, can't do. You know, like uh, he's gonna, he won't be able to go into your house. He'll just throw the presents down the chimney. Um, you know, Rudolph. You can't have Rudolph because they'll have a mask on and then the red nose won't work. You know, just live stupid things like that. Yeah. Well, like some okay. of these, some of these things that they, that you sent me to that Dave Savage did like, uh, yes, like no caroling, you know, can't fight. Right. If, There's can't, gonna be no, right. Can't fight. If you're not, In fact, there. I, saw, I saw something on the news the other day where they've got a Santa behind plexiglass and then the kids sit on a box in front of, <laughs> in front of the plexiglass. and then the little elf women have a, a radio like a like a walkie talkie and you can talk to santa you know on a walkie talkie like a cb and i thought i could add that to it too you know like breaker one nine for santa and uh, you know all that <laughs> stuff so. yeah well, but yeah this, this whole cool thing with santa in a plexi plexiglass box oh, well, what, you, what you said too was was funny though because you're talking about you know they have they're trying to hire santas to do um virtual santas and you said you, yeah, have, you have to have a oh, real beard it, yeah you gotta have a there i saw this thing online as i'm searching for work um you know I, I get all these these really really bizarre emails and it's like uh hey they're looking for santa clauses 75 dollars an hour but you gotta have a real beard how are they gonna tell like, <laughs> I don't, well, I, I don't know, but it, and that's virtually, they, yeah. they don't even want, you don't even have to be there. Um, you know, kids just call you up like, like a, do a video chat and you just have to have a, you know, kind of a snow scene behind you and, and a real beard and a Santa suit and 75 bucks an hour. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could grow a beard too. Yeah. The other yeah. thing, you know, on here was uh, no mistletoe, you know, because that's you, right. you can't really kiss anybody oh, 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 me. me and mrs uh, claus oh yes <laughs> so have to be good i really think you should play it like uh, billy bob thornton though oh bad Not santa bad, yes. yeah right bad do santa. the bad do the bad santa i was gonna say there's probably a market for that like yeah. for really bad kids you call him up and you just insult him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Uh, there was a, so, yeah. We used to we did a bit for a while called "Scared Straight Santa," <laughs> where <laughs> where parents would call and if their kids had been bad, we would have Santa call the kid up and go, "Hey, we found out, we found out you did some bad stuff, and, and you better, you know." At first, Santa would be like, "Ho ho, you know, you gotta turn, you gotta help your mom with the dishes." <laughs> this one kid got snotty back at Santa, and, and the guy I had playing Santa was a 
I think he was a prod guy that worked at the station. Just started going off on the kid. It was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, you little this naughty little kid. Yeah. You can't talk to Santa that way. I kind of like this one too. Technically, the mask should go over Rudolph's nose. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so he doesn't t- <laughs> cost any safety. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. You know, usually I've seen people already in Walmart that, you know, they got a mask on and they go to sneeze and they pull the mask down and sneeze. It's like, oh, good. Oh, thanks. man. Thanks, Don't pal. tell me that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. And they wonder why it's getting yep. worse. There you go. Anyway. Yep. yep. But, uh, or yeah. or they yeah, pull down the mask to cough. That's a good one. That, yeah. My wife saw that the other day. Oh, yeah. yeah. They do it all the time. Well, half the time, they don't wear them on their nose. So it's like, okay, so you're just sucking in all that air. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah uh, well, yeah. Well, all hopefully right. we all get through. Good this talking stuff. to you guys again. I'm going to take off. All right. Yep. All right. Yeah, all right. Great talking to you guys and catching up. Yeah, it was awesome talking to you too, Joe. Yeah. Can we do this yeah, again? Too, man? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd, I'd be glad to do this. Yeah. Well, you know, like I say, <laughs> I do, I have no more team anymore. It's just me. So hey, I'd be I'm happy for any of the uh, any of you guys that want to do it. So yeah, you, know, you know, I just do it for mm-hmm. free anyway. It's just a just a yeah. kind of a love of mine from radio, you know. Well, we're not getting paid? No. no <laughs> okay, I got to go. 